Right now on Apple Valley News Now at 6, a deadly crash near Ellensburg taking the life of a 10-year-old Sunnyside boy. What the Washington State Patrol says you should be looking out for as you head home after the holiday. Our region is at high risk for vegetation fires throughout the week ahead. How you can help prevent them. Plus, a car crash leaves one woman hurt and a damaged building in Benton City. Why there's more frustration for local parents and a delay to the start of school. Stacy, And we're tracking some active lightning storms just outside of Pendleton crossing the Blue Mountains. I'll tell you all about those coming up in my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. And good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us on this Labor Day. It's September 2nd. I'm Austin Reed. First up tonight, a 10 year old boy died over the Labor Day weekend in a car crash near Ellensburg. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell reports the Washington State Patrol says it wasn't a typical fatality crash. Two young boys from Sunnyside, passengers in a van driven by a 24 year old woman traveling eastbound on I 82, seven miles east of Ellensburg on Sunday afternoon. The driver changing lanes only to hit a semi truck, also headed eastbound. This type of crash isn't like a lot of them that we see where there's like reckless driving or, you know, a person was under the influence of drugs or alcohol or anything like that. It just uh, looks as if the, the van just crossed over and made an unsafe lane change and then collided into. The, uh, the semi truck. The roadway closed for hours as investigators collected data. Of course, that's taken back and processed to a different location, and they continue their investigation even while off the road. So, this collision still is under investigation, but uh, the final cause was it was an improper lane change. The 24 year old van driver and 37 year old semi truck driver, both wearing seatbelts, were uninjured. And while the eight year old boy wasn't wearing a seatbelt, he survived with no injuries. But the 10 year old boy who was wearing a seatbelt died at the scene. Though it still remains true that half of all of our fatalities in this area, I can't say statewide, but at least in our area, half of our fatalities are not wearing seatbelts. So yeah, that is odd. Troopers say few fatality accidents caused by inattention alone. But I think it also goes to show all of us that as we're driving these vehicles, you know, these are dangerous weapons that we're driving so paying attention at all times is super important because it's a big responsibility and there's a lot of us out here so yeah kind of keeping our head on a swivel at all times for sure because it could happen to anyone in ellensburg emily goodell apple valley news now troopers say it is especially important to pay attention during high traffic holidays like labor day weekend a walla walla man has been identified in a fatal car crash that happened on saturday Authorities with the Walla Walla County Sheriff's Office and the Washington State Patrol responded to a single car crash that happened just before midnight on Middle Waitsburg Road and Chase Road. Authorities say it appeared to be a rollover crash. 18 year old Sean Sollers died at the scene. What led up to the crash is still under investigation. The Sunnyside Police Department is investigating a shooting that happened Sunday night. Officers responded to reports of gunshots in the 1100 block of East Decatur Avenue just after 11 p.m. They say they found a 33 year old man at a home on Decatur who had suffered a single gunshot wound to the chest. The man is currently in stable condition. If you have any information, be sure to call the Sunnyside Police Department. Fire crews in Franklin County putting out a vegetation fire quickly that popped up along 395 about 10 miles north of Pasco today. Callers told dispatch they could see smoke in the air as they drove along 395 in the southbound lanes. Fire engines and water tenders raced to the scene and the Franklin County Sheriff's Office also responded. The fire was out within 15 minutes of the call with minimal damage done. The region is expected to continue to see dry conditions this week, which could keep fire crews very busy the rest of this week. The cause of the fire that burned more than 100 acres in Benton County is still under investigation. This blaze happened just before 2 p.m. Sunday on South Owens Road in an unincorporated section of Benton County. It took firefighters and a wildland strike team about three hours to put out the blaze and mop up hot spots. No one was hurt and the fire was contained to just burning dry vegetation. The Walla Walla Fire Department is investigating a suspicious structure fire which broke out early Saturday morning. 
The call for help came in just before 5.30 a.m. in the 900 block of Jefferson Street. The Walla Walla Police Department was first on scene, and they said that a large scrapyard was on fire and things were exploding. Firefighters say when they arrived, they found a 10,000 square foot scrapyard in flames. Nobody was hurt. Well, the skies are calm right now. This crop duster we spotted last week working hard on the crops. While we've got high dry weather, hot and dry weather for most of the region, we are going to see some changes. Thunderstorms are expected to pop up throughout the evening in most of our region. Some of us may not get a thing. But First Alert Weather Stacy Lee is joining us now from our First Alert Weather Center tracking these storms. Stacy, what do you have for us? That's right, Austin. We are tracking those storms and we have them going on across the Blue Mountains heading up north towards Walla Walla. Could see a few uh, lightning bolts in Walla Walla this afternoon as well as Pendleton. It looks like most of the activity staying east of Tri-Cities, but you can expect those thunderstorms throughout the night. On top of that, we have a wind advisory in place till 5 o'clock in the morning for the Kittitas Valley. 25 to 35 mile an hour winds, gusts 40 to 50. Columbia Gorge, it's been very windy there today with gusts 45 to 50. Uh, the gusts have calmed down slightly, but they're blowing 34 miles per hour right now. 37 in Ellensburg. As those storms come through, we'll continue to see those winds picking up. 91 degrees right now. Winds at 9 miles per hour. Our sunset at 732. Here's uh, temperatures elsewhere around the area. We're starting to cool down, but a lot of us still in the 90s. Hermiston down to 87, 89 now. Again, that storm front approaching those areas, and you'll see those temperatures cool down. Better chances of those thunderstorms all night, particularly along the foothills of the Blues, south of Hermiston and across Pendleton and Walla Walla. So some more scattered storms tonight. Breezy and gusty winds accompanying those storms. Cooler temps for tomorrow, and then we'll see those temperatures raise back up as we move through our first week of September. <laughs> Austin. All right, Stacy, thank you. Now to a follow up. The city of Yakima is reminding residents of downtown Yakima that if they want to park in two hour spots past the time limit, they need a permit for that. Residents have reportedly complained to the city about receiving tickets for staying past the limit when other spots were full. Now the city is enforcing parking time limits again. Residents will need to pay 50 bucks a year to be able to stay past the limit. They require a application be taken by the utility services with the applicant's name, address, telephone number, proof of residency, information on the vehicles, and then the names of the people living in that uh, residential structure. Suggested areas for parking are on South 4th Street, Chestnut Avenue, and South 3rd. Now to a story that's making a big difference. Every month we team up with STCU and honor a dedicated volunteer who has been nominated by another person in the community. The volunteer wins a thousand bucks. And here's Jessica Jalal with more. We are here because you are this month's volunteers count winner. Oh on behalf of your on behalf of your work with Pets Over Population, we are presenting you with a one thousand dollar check. Phyllis Crop is the winner of Volunteers Count for her work with Pets Overpopulation, or POP, an organization that takes in animals that have been surrendered, abandoned, or are simply a result of pet overpopulation. Crop has been volunteering with POP for almost 20 years. She says she's always been interested in saving animals ever since she was young. Like many volunteers, she began volunteering when she was still working full time. She started out by fostering cats and then by helping with adoptions, coming to adoption events every Saturday. The mission of the organization is to promote pet ownership and responsibility. We try to find a, a home that's gonna be a good fit for the animals and since we foster them, we actually know their personalities and uh, we fall in love with them. <laughs> you wanna keep all of them, that's but you right. can't. Yeah. That's right, but we do end up keeping a lot usually. Mm -hmm. Services POP provides include health checks, such as spay or neutering procedures, vaccines, microchips, all before they go up for adoption. She says she has the same heart for the cause that she did when she first started. So you've been doing this for 20 years. Yes. What makes you keep doing it? And what would you recommend to other people if they want to start volunteering? It, nice. You know, you can really put your heart into it and you, uh, you get the feedback from the animals, from the cats and the dogs for the care that you're giving. 
Krop says she chose to work with cats because she says cats usually need more help. She says for the past few years, they've been able to get around 500 cats adopted every year, whereas when she first started, they were lucky to get a few hundred adopted. It's just a very heartfelt, heartwarming uh, task to be part of. So uh, yeah, it, it just rewards you all the time. And our thanks to our very own Jessica Jalal for the story. Now, pet overpopulation is currently looking for a vet to work with to keep the clinic going. Find out how to nominate your favorite volunteer at applevalleynewsnow.com. Apple Valley News Now at 6 is just getting started. Still ahead, the streets of Prosser crowded today as the city celebrated its annual States Day celebration. That's up next. And Stacey will return. She'll have your full first alert weather forecast. It's Labor Day. Look at that. There's no traffic out there. We'll be right back. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. When it comes to legal matters, you need someone you can trust. At Morphine Law Firm, we are sincerely grateful for the last five years of trust and support you've given our firm. Your trust and support have been a major driving force behind our mission for justice. We offer free consultations, and we may not always tell you what you want to hear, but we try to steer you in the right direction. We appreciate your continued trust and confidence in Morphine Law Firm. So what do you think about these? Um, we like this one. Yeah, we love it. When it's time for an update or a complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the From side. design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Turned out Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com to learn more about no interest, no payments for 12 months. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book. Pick up a copy in store today. Save $70 on a Philips QLED Smart TV. Now just $249.99. Save $4 on a bag of Blue Diamond Almonds. Mountain House freeze-dried meal pouches are up to $3 off. Plus save on eight packs of Gatorade. Now just $6.99. Celebrating 20 years of employee ownership. Save more now with our latest savings book at Bymart. How do you measure the gift of time with your loved ones? How do you weigh the feeling of hope and the peace of mind not having to travel for the health care you deserve? At Good Shepherd, every decision we make is with our patients in mind to bring you new, renowned doctors, the best technology to offer compassion in your times of need, to serve our region, to be there for you. Thank you for trusting us with your care. Hey there, are you ready to quacker size? It's the best exercise to get ready for the duck race. I know you guys are ready. Are you? It's coming September 14th. Don't miss your chance to win big at the Mid-Columbia Duck Race. The grand prize is a 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross, plus other fantastic prizes. Support your community, lend a hand, buy a duck, and keep the tradition alive. The Mid-Columbia Duck Race, presented by Toyota and Audubon Auto Care Center. The best bulls in the world have come to town. For bulls and their riders, those eight seconds go by in a heartbeat. Eight seconds to become a champion or nothing. This is America, and this is PBR. It's bull time, Kennewick. PBR bucks into Toyota Center September 6th and 7th. Get your tickets now at PBR.com slash tickets or Ticketmaster. Smoke City for less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back to Apple Valley News Now at 6. Downtown summer nights may be over for the year, but the Downtown Association of Yakima has more fun coming up. 
get ready for a colorful day at the annual Chalk Art Festival. That's on October 12th. This year's theme is Music in Motion. About 20 artists already signed up to showcase their skills, but they are still accepting applications with room for 10 to 15 more. Then the annual Sip and Stroll moved this year to October the 26th. We're going to kind of give a little bit of a Halloween theme to it. The adults are going to be able to trick or treat downtown. This year, we've extended it to 21 beverage makers, so there will be a lot more locations to try out alcohol at. Also ahead, the organization's annual Trunk or Treat event. It's called Marketplace Monster Mash. That's set for, I'm sure you guessed it, October the 31st. Well, the city of Prosser is celebrating their annual States Day celebration, and this year it's almost 100 years old, 98. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma was at this morning's celebration and gives us a look into the festivities. I decided to come out to the parade today. Um, I came here because my friends came here and because I heard there was candy. Uh, I came here because my cousin's a part of it. She was in the soccer part. Because had I, because I get, because last year I got a small amount of candy, but this year I got a big amount of candy. Plus, like the pageant queens or like the old cars, those are really cool. Yeah, I like the pageant queens. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this small town home feeling. This is, uh, I'm from the other side of the mountains, so in Seattle, it's totally different. Totally different. Love it. And what's your favorite part so far? I, I like the candy. And I like the fun. That kid should get the coolest soundbite of the year award. Thank you so much to our Monique Ledesma for covering that story. Riley Fitzgerald was out there as well. Well, as September has begun, it is National Weather Preparedness Month, sponsored by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It's held annually in September. This is a good reminder that natural and man-made disasters can strike at any time. It's important to have a planned response when you're at work, on vacation, or on the road. In 2022, over 69,000 weather-related events resulted in 813 deaths and 1,718 injuries. Winter weather, heat, floods, and hurricanes resulted in the most deaths that year, according to Injury Facts. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And we'll take a look at our First Alert radar. We are tracking some thunderstorms through the area, the Blue Mountains of Oregon. Moving on up into the Blue Mountains just outside Walla Walla, we're seeing thunder and lightning uh, pretty intense and even hitting Pendleton here. So you can expect those uh, stray thunderstorms throughout the night, especially in the Pendleton Walla Walla area. And we could even see a sneaker break into the Tri-Cities. 95 degrees right now in our Bymart Sky Cam looking down into the Yakima Valley. Winds are zippo there. Our sunset at 732. Let's talk about that smoke. There's a light layer of smoke and haze. You can kind of see it out in the distance, especially if you snap a photo. You can really see that smoke kind of lingering around from some of the fires around the area. Air quality has been pretty good today, but we are moderate, so definitely are seeing that smoke. If you're further out towards Pullman, some of the air quality that way is unhealthy tonight. Let's take a look at our temperatures overnight tonight. We're going to be in the 50s and 60s. Cool and again thunderstorms on and off through from Hermiston to Pendleton, foothills of the Blues and maybe a sneaker into the Tri-Cities. Let's take a look at our future cast and we're continuing to see that moisture come up from the south skirting around the Tri-Cities now and heading mainly for the Blue Mountains and Hepner area Pendleton but we could see a stray storm sneak over into the Tri-Cities. Overall most of 
of those storms will be wrapped up and out of the area by midday tomorrow, and then we'll have lots of sunshine with clear skies. We are still seeing those above average temperatures in our area, but that is going to change as that system moves through the area. Our temperatures are going to decrease tomorrow. Our average this time of year around 86, and we're going to stay well above that a good 10 degrees for the rest of the week in Hermiston and Tri Cities. Yakima and Walla Walla average around 84. We'll see that getting close there tomorrow, but then moving right above the average 10 plus degrees as we go through the week. So look for those thunderstorm chances mainly in the morning hours. Walla Walla, Pendleton, Dayton, this region here. Once those clear out, we'll have sunshine and breezy winds. Planning your day tomorrow in the Tri-Cities. Morning looks comfortable in the 60s. We'll be at 70 by 9 o'clock. You'll see those 80s later in the day. In Yakima, starting your day out in the lower 60s, up to 76 by 10, 80s in the afternoon. Let's talk about that uh, seven-day planning forecast. Here's that slight chance of stray showers late tonight, early in the morning, breezy, and then lots of sunshine as we get through that first week of September. In Yakima, 80s tomorrow. We'll see the 90s for the rest of the week, but lots of sunshine on that map. In Ellensburg, look for some gusty winds, especially tonight and through tomorrow with temperatures returning to the mid and upper 90s later in the week. Walla Walla, look for breezy winds. Look for those thunder and lightning cells coming through the area tonight and early in the morning. And in Hermiston, we'll see those breezy winds continue with close to triple digits for the weekend. So well above our average, summer's hanging in there. 20 days left, Austin. It's unbelievable. So it's almost gone. I got to say, though, this morning my wife and kids were like, oh my goodness, it's so weird out. Yeah, it was that weird, yeah, yeah. kind of that system went around us. But yeah, good All stuff. Right. Thank <laughs> you. Coming up next on Apple Valley News Now at 6, we take a look at the final summer spending numbers. How does this affect you? Details are up next. By popular demand, it's Steve Hon Kia's two for two twenty two, but only while supplies last during the summer clearance sale. If Steve Hon Kia can sell two new Kias for two twenty two, imagine what you'll save on all wheel drive SUVs, but only at Steve Hon's Kia dot com. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double-checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple-checked, and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check the expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. Whoa, is this your new Nissan Rogue? Yeah, crazy story. Yesterday, I was at the Nissan end of summer sales event taking a test drive, and Laura says, We've got somewhere to be. And off we went. We're having a blast. And she tells me it's recommended by Consumer Reports. These Rogues are going fast. I knew I had to have that Rogue. Get 0% financing for 36 months, or get up to 2,500 total savings on remaining select 2024 Rogue Platinum trims. The Coca-Cola Grandstand is where the action is at this year's Central Washington State Fair. Kicking things off on Saturday, September 21st with the epic rodeo action at the Aces Wild Rough Stock Roundup. Showcasing some of the very best cowboys and cowgirls competing today. And that's just the start. On September 28th and 29th, catch the high octane excitement of Insanity Fest. Featuring monster trucks, jet truck, and truck pulling like you've never seen before. Get your tickets today at fairfun.com. All event tickets include fair admission. You love the internet, but do you love your internet? Do frozen screens make your heart melt? Do buffering wheels give you butterflies? <laughs> Didn't think so. You should meet Zipply Fiber. It's faster, it's friendlier, it's fiber. Zipply is fiber optic internet. That means no lag and no buffering. Gotta love it. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go Zipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. Stop thinking, let things happen, and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. 
by popular demand. It's Steve Hahn Kia's two for two twenty two, but only while supplies last during the summer clearance sale. If Steve Hahn Kia can sell two new Kias for two twenty two, imagine what you'll save on all wheel drive SUVs, but only at Steve Hans Kia dot com. We are back with a consumer alert as this holiday weekend wraps up. New government numbers are giving us a look at how Americans spent their money over the summer. And the view could impact what happens to interest rates later this month. Emily Schmidt reports what this could mean for you. In summer terms, the 4th of July may feel like a lifetime ago. But in economic terms, what was happening then is just now coming to light. Consumer spending was strong in July. 0.4% for the month, just below 3% year over year. Commerce Department figures released Friday show stronger than expected spending. With the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, or PCE, inflation gauge holding steady, that's also better than expected. It means continued movement in the right direction with easing inflation. You may have noticed one sign already. We are actually seeing relief uh, at the pump. So $3.35 national average, that's a reduction of about 50 cents since last Labor Day and the lowest Labor Day gas prices we've seen in three years. The numbers in the Commerce Department report are likely to play out on the campaign trail over the next two months as both inflation and borrowing costs continue to be top concerns for voters. I'm very proud of the work that we have done that has brought inflation down to less than 3%. Together we will deliver low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, low inflation so that everyone can afford groceries, a car, and a home. But the most critical result of the PCE could become clear in just a couple of weeks when the Fed announces if it will or will not cut interest rates for the first time since 2020. In Washington, I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. The Commerce Department report also shows more spending, but less savings. In the new reports, the percentage of disposable income people put away each month dipped below 3%, the lowest in more than two years. Still ahead here on Apple Valley News Now, we've got more headlines and weather. That's right. Uh, we're tracking some thunder and lightning tonight and even some strong gusty winds. Tell you all about it coming up here in just a few minutes. Apple Valley News Now. Hope you have a great Labor Day. Hi, I'm Scott McGilvery. I know what bathroom models should cost because I've done hundreds of them. I use Bathfitter in my investment properties because I know it'll be worth every penny and then some. After 40 years and over 2 million baths, they're accountable for everything from design to manufacturing to installation, all backed by a lifetime warranty. If you want a bathroom model you can trust with your money, it just fits. Bathfitter. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Farming at any scale is often about using what you have at hand to get the job done. Life definitely gets a little easier and more enjoyable when you have the right tools. It's important to me to be a good and reliable farmer, and that means taking care of the environment too. I want to see the valley continue to thrive and provide food long into the future. I just love what I do, and I wake up every day thankful to provide healthy, local food to my community. Stop by today and feel the power of Pingree. No one expects to get in a car wreck, but that's exactly what happened last summer. The drunk driver crossed over the center line, crashing into us and causing life-threatening injuries. It was difficult to focus on healing while facing overwhelming medical bills and lost wages. How will our bills get paid? When can I go back to work? So much was running through my head. Abeta Nelson's team did the work to make sure we didn't have to worry. Abeta Nelson, we focus on you, you focus on healing. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. Here at the clinic, we stay up to date on the latest research and we offer cutting edge therapies. We treat a number of different conditions, uh, specifically Parkinson's disease, stroke recovery, traumatic brain injury, fibromyalgia, diabetes. We also treat folks dealing with cognitive decline due to aging. We all have dreams and ideas about how life is gonna be, and then life happens, and it's not necessarily what we pictured. So how do we deal with that? So I've lived with multiple sclerosis for years. It's realizing that it's all one system. How do you reset your goals so that you can live a happy, healthy life even with chronic illness? 
And I can attest, yes, you can. My life is incredibly happy. We first start by improving oxygen utilization in the cells because healthy cells are well oxygenated. We then work towards improving areas of the brain that are inefficient. And for this, we use a number of different modalities. We offer oxygen contrast therapy, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, transcranial photobiomodulation, and our latest addition, brain high intensity interval training. We also build a schedule for the patient that makes it easy to adapt their game plan to their lives and the therapies they do inside the clinic. To get started, call 509-783-5465 and schedule an appointment with a client advocate today. Early morning water skiing. The days we water ski are the best days of our lives because we know we've done so much by 6.30 a.m. The rest of the day is a cakewalk. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest, it'll be another hot week as temperatures are heating up. Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbreth will have your first alert weather forecast. That and all of your top stories will be right here Tuesday morning from 5 to 7. Right now on the region's only live and local news at 6.30 p.m., multiple crashes across our area have law enforcement on high alert. Our Riley Fitzgerald will have the full story. Plus, speaking of crashes, preschoolers at a Benton City church won't get their first day of school tomorrow. The details as Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 starts now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Well, good evening, everybody, on this Labor Day. Thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed with Stacy Lee. Tracking some active weather tonight, Austin. If we take a look at our screen right now, check out that lightning all around the city of Pendleton. We're seeing lightning strikes along the blues and the foothills of the blues tonight, and that will be the story on and off all evening long. So again, if you're living in that area, thunder roars, you want to head indoors, be safe tonight because uh, we had a nice warming trend today and that just gave more fuel for those thunderstorms. On top of that, we have a wind advisory in our uh, area until five o'clock in the morning. Yakima, Kittitas Valley, just outside of Yakima, I should say, very windy there. We've been tracking strong gusty winds along the Columbia River Gorge, and uh, we're still seeing that 34 mile an hour gust right now in the Dalles, 37 mile an hour gust in Ellensburg, windy in Hermiston again as those storms start to pass through. Legends Casino Skycam looking good out there. People still out on the river. 91 degrees, our sunset at 732. Temperatures around the area tonight looking good. We're in the 70s and 90s. It's kind of a big uh, disparity there. Uh, Ellensburg 79, 87 in Hermiston. Overnight lows will be in the 50s and 60s. So thunder showers moving through the area. So look for those scattered storms tonight. Breezy and gusty winds through tomorrow. We're going to have cooler temps just for tomorrow. Then we're going to raise back up and be above the average for the rest of the week. Austin. All right, thank you very much, Stacy. Now to our big story at 6.30. Law enforcement have highlighted several serious hit and run cases across the Tri-Cities in recent weeks, including a man driving off after hitting a pregnant woman walking near the cable bridge, and another man fleeing the scene after hitting a Ben Franklin Transit bus into a residence yard in Richland. Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald says hit and run cases are different from others because after any kind of collision, unlike any other law, this law requires action. When in a car crash or a collision of any kind, Washington law says you need to pull over and share your insurance and vehicle information with the other driver or anybody else involved. Leaving the scene without doing that nearly guarantees you a criminal charge if caught. So the state requires you to stick around after you've been involved in a collision, uh, but that could be the difference between maybe getting a ticket, maybe getting no ticket, or having a criminal charge, a misdemeanor. Um, if there are injuries uh, to the person, um, it could even be a felony. For hitting a car with no people in it and leaving with no note, Washington state law says that's a misdemeanor. That raises to a gross misdemeanor if the car is occupied, and a hit and run that causes injury to another person is a class C felony. The most serious type of hit and run case is a hit and run that causes death. Um, that's a class B felony. The decision takes just seconds after a collision, stay or go. If you're involved in an accident, you have to stop, right? You have to stop, you have to provide your information, you have to check on the person, and if necessary, you have to render aid. 
The reasonable assistance requirement in Washington state is what Benton County Prosecutor Eric Isinger calls the most interesting part of the statute. Because most of the time the law doesn't require you to take any kind of affirmative action. The law is the law restricts certain behavior, but in this instance, the law actually requires if you're involved in an accident to stop and to help someone. There's this affirmative duty under the law to provide help, to take them to the hospital if they need it, to call 911 if it's needed, and that's just a part of being a good citizen, right? Like taking care of the people in our own community. The Richland Police Department says nearly all of the hit and runs reported in the city do get closed, and part of that is thanks to the abundant use of cameras. There are cameras everywhere now, so be it on a business, be it on a residence, um, but yeah, uh, the, the dash cameras are really prevalent now, and high definition video, super useful, so yeah, those are great tools to, to run investigations off. If you're the victim of a hit and run, officials say it's important to get to a safe place and report as much information about the other vehicle as you know, like the make, model, color, and license plate. In Benton County, I'm Riley Fitzgerald with Apple Valley News Now. Riley, thank you for that on your side report. Meanwhile, law enforcement says while it may seem like there have been more hit and runs than previous years, Benton County is right about on track for its average this time of year. Other news tonight, preschoolers at a Benton City church won't get their first day of school tomorrow. On Tuesday, classes are on delay after a woman crashes her car into the First United Methodist Church on 9th Street in Benton City. The Benton County Sheriff's Office says the woman was taken to the hospital to be treated for injuries. Charges are pending in the case. A woman we spoke to at the church says she is a single parent and now she's frustrated about the delay in classes. I don't have childcare because I'm a single mom to these twins, these two. And so I have to find, get my babysitter figured out a little better because I wasn't planning on having them start till 11 o'clock on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. At this time, there is no word on when the first day of classes for the preschool will be. We have a water quality warning for residents who occupy the South Moses Lake zone. The Grant County Health District receiving a report of a suspected blue green algae bloom in the South Moses Lake area. Samples to test for toxins will be taken this week. Blue green algae blooms can produce toxins that are harmful to people and pets. So officials say to stay out of the lake water in this area and avoid boating in the areas of scum. The health district says they will be posting signs for this area and they will be up until sampling shows toxin levels are within safe limits. We have a quick crime alert for you and new tonight. Pacific Power in both Washington and Oregon warning the public of several recent scams targeting utility customers. Officials say crooks are posing as company employees to try and get money and steal personal information. The scammers are targeting customers via phone calls, texts, social media messages, email, and even by knocking on doors. If this happens to you, you are asked to report it immediately to your local police department. A small plane crashes into a neighborhood in northwest Oregon on Saturday, killing three people. The plane hit a residential building with multiple townhomes. This happened in the city of Fairview. It's a suburb about 15 miles east of Portland. Authorities say as the plane was landing, it hit a power pole before it crashed into the building and erupted in flames. Two people on the plane and one person on the ground all died. The crash also damaged several townhomes, leaving five families without immediate shelter. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating what happened. Sunnyside City Manager Mike Gonzalez is hosting a meeting this week to discuss issues, opinions and ideas concerning the Community and Economic Development Department's planning and permitting processes and how they can be improved. Gonzalez says developers, contractors, and engineers are especially encouraged to attend. This takes place tomorrow, Tuesday, from 1.15 p.m. to 2.45. It's at City Hall. A rabid bat was found in Renton, Washington over the weekend. Correspondent Brady Wakayama brings us more. 
creepy. It's chilling. It's weird. Weird to see that. Customers at this Renton strip mall off Rainier Avenue are still in shock by this encounter with a rabid bat. I've never heard of any bats here. I've never seen any. Um, I would be quite surprised to see one. The manager of Cash America says he and his employees did see one outside the store Thursday morning. He says the bat looked sick and couldn't fly. So without touching it, he and his staff were able to direct and capture it into a Tupperware. They then took it to a local wildlife rehabilitation center where it was eventually euthanized. King County Public Health says the bat tested positive for rabies. We're a team here, so we're, I mean, I, I commend them for doing that. So, I mean, good thing they caught it. Public Health has identified at least two people who have been exposed to the bat and are now being evaluated. The virus is found in saliva of an animal with rabies and can be transmitted by a bite or scratch and is almost always fatal if not treated. There could be more, so it kind of is a little worrisome, so keep an eye out for more. Officials with King County Public Health say since at least 2018, there have been no deaths in the county due to rabies. According to the state's Department of Health, less than 1% of bats in the wild are infected with the virus. In Renton, Brady Wakayama. In other news, travel this Labor Day weekend is up 9% from last year. But internationally, it is down 4%. According to AAA, people hitting the road will get a better deal, with gas prices down to $3.43 per gallon in some parts of the country. That is down from $3.86 a gallon a year ago. The Transportation Security Administration plans to screen more than 17 million people between last Thursday and this coming Wednesday. New at 630, Toyota is recalling more than 43,000 Sequoia hybrids. It's because the tow hitch cover on the rear bumper can actually detach and fall into the roadway. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says the covers could become road hazards and increase the risk of crashes. The recalled vehicles includes the 2023 and 2024 model years. Dealers will fix the issue for free. Still ahead on Apple Valley News Now, live at 6.30, a Seattle-based company is aiming to blast a space plane into orbit, we'll explain. And Stacy will return with your full first alert weather forecast. Happy Labor Day, everybody. We'll be right back. Apple Valley News Now, the official television home of the Seattle Kraken. Craving our world-famous hand-rolled crisp burritos with creamy, bacony, chipotle, smoky goodness? Try our new Smoky Pork Crisp Burrito for a limited time. When you know what you want, anytime is taco time. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, West Richland, Hermiston, Road 68 in Pasco, and at the new location on West Court Street in Pasco. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. at all six locations. Get the lowest prices on the largest selection of vape Mods, classic to tropical vape flavors, batteries, cigars, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Don't waste time in other places. Go to Smoke City for less. We smoke the competition. Phones were made to help us connect, and somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic, don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. 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 But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh, and I'm already late. Looking for a new appliance but don't want to wait weeks for delivery? At Fred's Appliance, our Get It Today inventory makes sure you don't have to. Thanks to our fully stocked warehouses, we have a vast selection of appliances ready for you right now. From refrigerators to washing machines, ovens to dryers, you name it, we have it ready to go. No more waiting, no more delays. Just the appliance you need when you need it. Fred's Appliance. If we advertise it, we've got it. Visit any of our showrooms and get your new appliance today.
Welcome to the Walla Walla Airport, where you'll experience enhanced convenience. Your gateway to adventure has expanded its security checkpoint and upgraded the departure area for your comfort. With free parking and daily Alaska Airline flights to Seattle, your travel plans are easier than ever. Whether you're off to relax or to explore, start your journey smoothly with our improved facilities. Create unforgettable memories today. Book now at alaskaair.com. Your next adventure is just a flight away at Walla Walla Regional Airport, where parking is always free. Indulge in Legends Casino's seafood buffet experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need the number one selling subcompact tractor in the U.S. so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for 0% APR for up to 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Craving our world-famous hand-rolled crisp burritos with creamy, bacony, chipotle, smoky goodness? Try our new Smoky Pork Crisp Burrito for a limited time. When you know what you want, anytime is taco time. Welcome back. Before we check in with Stacy, a Seattle-based company is aiming to blast a space plane into orbit. This is an artist's rendering of Radeon 1. The goal, to create a cost-effective alternative to rockets by doing away with rocket stages that either fall back to Earth or return for reuse. For launch, the space plane rides on top of a rocket-powered sled. The sled picks up speed along a two-mile rail track before releasing the space plane. It then flies into orbit under the power of its own engines. It would carry a crew of up to five astronauts and be reusable up to 100 times. It could also be used to put satellites into orbit, conduct surveillance, and gather intelligence for the military or service space stations. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And we're going to start off with our first alert radar tracking some pretty heavy duty lightning, especially between Walla Walla and Pendleton. Those strikes are sitting right there. So if you're in this area, that thunder roars, you meet, need to get inside because active uh, thunder and lightning and that will continue throughout the evening in that region along the foothills of the blues, especially 91 degrees. Our winds are nine miles per hour. It feels like temp is 91 tonight and our sunset at 732. Let's talk about the smoke and haze. We've been seeing that kind of lingering in the air. Air quality has been at moderate today, but you can still really see that smoke lingering around most of the Pacific Northwest in our viewing area. Air quality has been getting uh, slowly getting better, but we're seeing moderate uh, air quality here. It's a little bit thicker as you get towards Pullman and uh, towards Idaho. That's where we're seeing some heavier, thicker, unhealthy air tonight. Better chance of thunderstorms tonight, mild with strong winds, especially here along the foothills of the blue the Columbia River Gorge, mountain gaps in the in the uh, Kittitas Valley. It's going to be very breezy and expect those showers on and off throughout the evening. Future cast is keeping everything kind of to the east of Tri-Cities, Hepner, Pendleton, Walla Walla, Connell, all in the zone. But we could see a stray shower sprinkle its way into the Tri-Cities. By uh, tomorrow morning, these cells will start to dry up by midday. We should have nice clear skies throughout the rest of the area and we'll continue to see sunshine with clear warm temperatures. Tomorrow temperatures cool down, but we've been above average here with this low pressure system. That's the guy moving across our area today. That's going to cool our temperatures down tomorrow where we'll get a little bit closer to our average of 86. Tri-Cities and Hermiston pretty close with averages, but then you see this. We're going to be above average moving through the first week of September. Temperatures dip slightly uh, for Yakima and Walla Walla tomorrow, and then we'll stay above average the rest of the week. So nice and warm out there getting through. Tomorrow, thunderstorm chances in the morning, mainly again the Blues, Foothills of the Blues, Pendleton, Walla Walla area. By about noon, most of that should be out of the region. Temperatures on the warm side. We're going to be in the 80s all through the area. Planning your day tomorrow. It's going to be pretty nice in the morning. We'll hit 70 degrees by 9. Those 80 degree temps by the early afternoon. Count on 80 
uh, by noon in Tri Cities. In Yakima, starting out in the 60s, you'll be hitting those 80s by noon and those upper 80s later in the day. Here's our planner. There's the breezy winds, that slight cool down, and then we see those temperatures move right back up a good 10 degrees above our average for this time of year. Yakima, mostly sunny skies and those temperatures climbing into the 90s just in time for the weekend. Here's what it looks like in Ellensburg. Count on those gusty winds through the night tonight and tomorrow. Uh, they should start to calm down after that. Walla Walla, it's going to be warm there as well. Look at those temperatures close to the triple digits Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And in Hermiston, that little cool down with those breezy winds tomorrow with close to triple digits just in time for the weekend. 20 final days of summer. So this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. And it still feels like it. That's right? for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to return with what's trending. Perfect. <laughs> It only happens once a year. Steve Hunt Kia's summer clearance sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. Can take advantage of Steve Hunt all-wheel drive sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Hunt Kia .com. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. Giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Hi, I'm renovation expert Scott McGilvery. I know bath remodeling and I've seen all the gimmicks. Buy now, half off, free installation. This is why I work with Bathfitter. With 40 years of experience and 2 million installs, I trust their integrity. Bathfitter gives you a fair price and sticks to it with a lifetime warranty. You don't need gimmicks, just a partner you can trust. Bathfitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Brian Smith. And I'm attorney Megan Hale. Thank you for voting us Yakima's first choice for personal injury, civil law, and best overall law firm. We are honored and grateful to be part of this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is teeing up for the Epson Tour Road to the LPGA Tournament with an exciting round of the $100,000 Go for the Green giveaway. Win up to $5,000 in cash and prizes every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in August. Play with your club wild card to earn entries every day. Then multiply them up to 10 times on Mondays. Then Saturday, September 7th, three lucky players will putt to win up to $10,000 cash. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton. Not just college football, SEC football. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at ProsserHealth.org. This is how we care. The Labor Day savings are on now. This week at Walker's Furniture. Save like never before with discounts on your favorite brands at the biggest sale of the year. Or enjoy 0% interest for five years and pay over time. But hurry, because these limited time offers won't last long. Beautiful new bedroom sets, stylish living rooms, and quality dining sets are all on sale. Celebrate Labor Day with style and savings this week at Walker's. It only happens once a year. Steve Hunt Kia's summer clearance sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. Can take advantage of Steve Hunt all-wheel drive sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Hunt Kia .com. Apple Valley News Now. Hope you have a great Labor Day. The day isn't over yet, so check this out. If you're able to, go outside and take some time to look around you because today is National Hummingbird Day. Love that. Today's the opportunity to raise awareness about these tiny, beautiful creatures, hummingbirds, the smallest birds in the world, averaging between two to five inches long. Now, despite their size, they are a migratory species that can travel long distances. Hummingbirds are known for their iridescent, vibrant color feathers. 
They flap their wings so quickly that they appear to hover. I had one in my backyard the other day. Oh. And well, no hummingbird feeder, but anyway. That's okay. He well, was still pretty cool to look at. Maybe he or she is still hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> also trending tonight. That's right. The Mega Million Lottery jackpot has climbed to an estimated $681 million. The cash option is $336.1 million. Now, the jackpot swelled after no ticket matched all six numbers in Friday night's drawing. Next drawing is Tuesday. If there's a big winner, it would be the seventh largest jackpot in the game's history. I know what I have to do after work today. You're, you're going to do it? <laughs> Got to go get a ticket. All right. And you know what? And for people that have to work today on mm -hmm. Labor Day, maybe go get a ticket. Right. And then next year, maybe you won't have to work anymore. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back with final weather next. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything. From design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Dare to go deep into the woods and uncover cash? Yep, at Legends Casino Hotel during our Cash in the Woods Thursday drawings, where four winners will gather between $4,000 and $10,000. Use your Legends Rewards card when playing in our forest of friendly slot machines to earn entries, and you could win your share of $112,000. No big bad wolf walking dead or Sasquatch to fear in our woods, so come play, have fun, and who knows, you might just walk out of our woods with a backpack full of cash. Hello? You gotta get your story straight. You want this face to believe that? You're cooked. What an idiot. Get it through your noodle. Don't give a rat's behind that below. A new era begins. And I'm just getting started. Bigger cases. She was lured to your apartment. Higher stakes. That's almost like kidnapping. Judy Justice. See the premiere of Judy Justice, Monday, September 9th at 3. Followed by news and Monday Night Football. Only on Apple Valley News Now. When Apple Valley News Now first alert weather forecasted weekend thunderstorms. We're going to see some heavy showers. Especially in Yakima and Kittitas County. Viewers told us that their phone weather apps didn't mention them. Weather apps show no rain or thunderstorms in Sunnyside, Yakima area. The weather app says nothing but sunshine. Who do I listen to? That Saturday was one of the biggest days of thunderstorms we've seen in recent memory. Trust the Apple Valley News Now first alert weather team to get it right. Unlike weather apps, we're local and on your side. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Good morning, Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. Are you ready? They are ready. Covering the biggest events right now. There's a lot going on here. You don't just see it, you feel it. I'm in. I'm in. I am in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in too. Good morning, Northwest, and good morning, America. Now that's good. Apple Valley News Now is giving away family four packs of tickets to the final Saturday night Dust Devils game of the season as our Devils take on Hillsboro September 7th, followed by fireworks. And are on our mobile app or click on contests at applevalleynewsnow.com. I think this is my favorite. Okay, huh? What do you think of this one? From design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. An awesome water skiing adventure. Fly the Northwest, Tuesday at 6. Before we look at weather photo of the day, you said something earlier that was really cool right. about Labor Day. Labor Day uh, has been around since the late 1800s, I believe. Um, Oregon was the first state to make it a holiday. So Very cool. Way to go, Oregon. All right. All right, uh, come to your screen, take a look at our weather photo. Great photo from Tim and Prosser. Thanks for sharing. If you'd like to get your weather photo on TV, QR code right side of your screen or you can go to applevalleynewsnow.com and click on the weather tab. All right, let's plan your day tomorrow. It's gonna to be pretty nice again. Slight chance of those storms moving out of Walla Walla. They should be done by eight o'clock tomorrow morning, for sure by noon, and then those temperatures hitting the 80s. Seven day planner, look at that. We get nice and hot. Summer hanging on mm -hmm. by a thread there. The last 20 days in our first full week of September with nice warm temperatures headed our way next weekend. So Austin, Summer's not done yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm we'll not ready it. for it to be done. I know everybody kind of wants uh -huh. fall, but I'm, yeah. We'll, we'll just 
It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us here at 6 and 6.30. We're back at 11. Hoping your news is good news. Have a good night.